Hey guys, it's Duelist7 here, and this is my first YouTube video ever, so please don't get mad at me if I accidentally mess it up. I am kind of nervous. So basically for this video, I'm just going to show you guys my whole Harry Potter collection. So this is my favorite stuffed animal ever. It's Hedwig. And then moving on, I've just got little Norbert right here. And then I've got this little orb I got at a Harry Potter camp, and it changes color and stuff, and it's really cool. Next, these are my two Ollivander wands. Um, I got them from the Ollivander. I bought them in the Ollivander box from Noble Collection, which is the best website ever for buying Harry Potter stuff. And so my house is Gryffindor, so I've got a few Gryffindor items here. I've got this Gryffindor lanyard, this iron-on Gryffindor patch, which I have not decided what to use for yet. And then I have this at a Harry at the Harry Potter camp. I made this wand to represent Gryffindor, which I it was a whole process for getting your house and I did get Gryffindor which is good. So next I have the Harry Potter film artifact box which I will go into more detail in a later video. Then I have the gilly water and the pumpkin juice which I both got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter which I do visit quite frequently so every time I go I promise to make a video on what I get. Then back here I have this Harry Potter figure so I need to fix this wand the other part of it somewhere else and so when when you turn him on and you walk by him and he senses your presence, well, presence, emotion, he'll like make noises and say spells and stuff, and it's really awesome. Then I have my main series Harry Potter books in that big brown trunk, and then this Harry Potter 3D magical creatures, beasts, and beings. It's like the magic eye book where you have to find like the secret pictures. So these seven wands right here, the ones in the universal boxes, these ones they're pretty beat up. I played with them a lot when I was a kid because, you know, you wanted to play with the one and pretend you were a wizard. So I took them outside and they got pretty beat up. So a lot of them I need to get replacements for, which is why I have two Dumbledore wands. So starting with, I have my first Dumbledore wand, then Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Voldemort, Ginny, Harry, Sirius. These ones over here, these seven are in a lot better condition. None of them really have anything on them. There's Snape, Malfoy, Professor Lupin, Professor Slughorn, Bellatrix, Professor McGonagall, who is in my top three favorite characters, and Victor Crumb. Now down here, these are the Noble Collection wands. I've got Cedric Diggory, the Snatcher wand, Grindelwald, the Death Eater Stallion, Luna Lovegood, and Grigorovich. Now I do have these wands on display right here. Um, I've got the ten wand set. And I will go into detail on these ones later because they're all in perfect condition, basically. So, I have the 10 wand set and I haven't filled it up yet. I still have four more spaces, so I'm working on it, I promise. Now, then I have the snitch up there, which is just like, I just bought it at a uh, Barnes & Noble and I just, I really liked it. So, I just leave it up there because I think it looks cool. Then down here, I've got this Harry Potter postcards books. I've got three of them. Um... Then I've got this Honey Dukes bag, like you like you fill your own with candy and then you buy it. Then there's this butterbeer thing that you would put around a, like a hot cup or like a to-go coffee cup to make it cooler, which I kept because I loved the hot butterbeer. It was amazing. So I have this Harry Potter Tales of Beetle the Bard book. Then I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch to the Ages, which are both upside down and I need to fix. Then I have the Sorcerer's Companion book, which is a Harry Potter book and it's got like it's basically a guide to the magical world of Harry Potter, which is what it says right there. Um, it's the best book ever. Anything you really want to know about Harry Potter is probably in there. Then I've got the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, which is delicious, and we made a lot of stuff out of it. I've got this Honey Dukes jar, which um, I bought the lemon drops in it, and I bought them twice, like, on two separate visits, because I love them so much. And I've got a magnifying glass here. I just sort of use it for decoration, along with this cauldron, because I just thought they looked really, really Harry Potter-ish. So... I've got this hog's head mug, which is my dad's, um, and then I have the butterbeer one, and basically if you take them back, you can um, get like a discount on refills. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. So then I have this Gryffindor bow tie in that little elixir bottle. It's the fire protection potion, and like you buy the gilly water, and then you can buy that for another $4, which makes it 8 and you just get to pour it in. It's basically just fluid free water flavor this one i think tasted like strawberry or fruit punch or something so this one is the harry potter chocolate frog box and it does have a it does have a really big harry potter um 
chocolate frog in it, which is absolutely delicious. And I have collected all the cards. There is Dumbledore, Godric Gryffindor, Rowena Ravenclaw, Salazar Slytherin, and Helga Hufflepuff. And then I do have another Dumbledore, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw. So keep that in mind. I do have double, so I probably will only be buying the chocolate frog cards for the chocolate frogs. Now, the next thing that I have right here is this Dumbledore Ar Dumbledore's Army messenger bag, which I love. And I used for school for a while, but then it was really annoying to carry books in a messenger bag because it's not the easiest to carry around. It does get quite uncomfortable after a while. So next, I have this is a little kit that I bought at Walmart. It's a Harry Potter coloring kit. And it's just got like, it comes with its own pencils and little, it's got like, probably, I want to say like 30 different pictures you could draw. Then this is a Harry Potter Magical Creatures book, which I have colored in a lot of pictures and pencil, obviously. Like you can see some. But yeah, I do really love it. Um, this, okay, so I went to a Harry Potter camp and you had to like get accepted. You either had to be in the gifted program or get like 95 or higher on like your average score or whatever. So... I'm not going to show you my name and address because that would, I would not be happy with that. But I will show you what's inside. I got my letter of acceptance, which just says like what you want. I'm not going to show you because I feel like I'm going to miss my name. This is just um, like our name and then our house written in ancient runes. And then that's just some pamphlets that I got at Universal and these little two. You can exchange money for Gringotts banknotes at... Universal and those are my key cards because we stayed at this really nice hotel there and mine has um Harry the Harry Potter world stuff on it. So yeah. Um I do have one more thing to show you guys and that is my Harry Potter like main clothing. So I have this Gryffindor hat which is absolutely the most comfortable hat to wear ever. Mostly because it's Harry Potter. Then I have the Gryffindor scarf which is really nice. And I really love it a lot. Next, I have the $100, which I was so nervous to buy. I actually have two. One when I got when I was a lot younger. And then this Gryffindor one. It does have a wand holder, which is the coolest thing ever. So next, I have... It's not even really have to do with Harry Potter, but it's like this red throne chair that I keep in my room, and I love it. It's like the best chair ever. Um, It's like most comfortable we actually found on the side of the road which is a really fun story um i do have two more things to show you guys right here i've got the olivander's bags that come when you buy a wand from the wizarding world and the last thing i have to show you is my marauders map now the next time i order from noble collection i am going to buy the case for it because i feel like it's going to get messed up if i take it out of the box a lot so I usually leave it in here until I can really admire it. I went through it all and I tried to figure out where parts in the castle are like you know somewhere I think that's Dumbledore's um office and study but I'm not really sure but yeah that's it for this video guys that's all my Harry Potter stuff. I really want to increase my collection and make it even bigger and better so yeah to do that just to tell me what you want um comment on what you want to see in more detail and then like, comment, subscribe, please, because this is my first video, so I'm waiting for it. Thank you, everybody.